since the beginning of the year. So on um, already on weak levels, the stock has fallen some more. To talk more about the quarter gone by, DP Deshpande, the MD of the company, joins us on the phone line. Good afternoon, Mr. Deshpande, and thanks so much for joining in. It's a very disappointing set of earnings. Your revenues are down 30%. Your profits have fallen by more than 90%. Um, can we expect a recovery at all in, you know, say in Q2 or Q3? And what could yeah, be the nature? Maybe. <laughs> yeah, the, the mainly primary reason for why the the earnings have fallen down is because the uh, realizations in the market have actually dropped. And the reason for that is the poor demand for Spongeon, and that is also uh, ex explainable by the poor demand for steel or Chinese imports, which are getting into and competing with this. Now, having said this, uh, the situation looks at least the next to six months uh, not likely to improve dramatically mm. it, might, it might just improve uh, a bit compared to what it is but it might not improve dramatically in which case we have the look at what are the what else can we do and what else are we doing so we uh, are banking on the uh, iron ore prices to come down because there are very large number of players uh, in this business who would not be able to stand up uh, uh, under this kind of a margin pressure, especially uh, if the iron ore prices continue to be where they are. So that is one possibility which is emerging. I think there are some in in indications here and there that the iron ore prices is currently very high. The international iron ore prices have fallen significantly, whereas the domestic iron ore prices have actually not fallen as much compared to what they were earlier. Sports so don't work for you, Mr. Deshpande? Can't you import? Yeah. Uh, can't you use imported instead of NMDC's iron ore? No, no. Im imported is anyway more expensive than the domestic one. Oh. Okay, so that way the domestic uh, iron ore competes with the imported iron ore landed at our plants. Uh -huh. Competes well, but the, the fall in the domestic iron ore prices is more, more expected, and it will happen because many players would actually cut back on production or will not be able to sell or the margins uh -huh. will come under pressure. So it actually tend to happen over the next three four months. Okay. So this is one change which I would expect and which they, which will probably uh, improve the earnings to the company a little bit more. Mm. Uh, there, there is a little bit of, uh, let's say, indications of realizations going up a little bit compared to what they are. Okay. Possibly this realization, current realization level is also a speculatory realization that it is terribly bad, etc. And therefore, I, there are some in, uh, indications in the last, uh, let's say, one week, the prices are tending to show up. There's other reason by, by which it performance could improve thereafter. But having said this, on an overall situation, the picture is not as good as it was last year. Okay. And, uh, uh, Mr. Deshpande, yeah, yeah. wouldn't this quarter be even worse because this uh, the Chinese stock market crisis appears to have dipped uh, steel prices even more? So should we <laughs> brace for things to get worse before they get better in the July-September quarter? Uh, no, actually, it's a little, little, little bit of forecasting only. I, my forecast could be as bad or as good as anybody else's. The uh, the only issue that threatens us in terms of performance next quarter is the heavy Chinese imports, Chinese steel in getting imported into India. To my mind, it, will not, it is not going to happen. Uh, in the next three months or six months, it is not going to happen. The government will come and support, as well as the, the ports are congested. There are many things which are also supportive of that particular uh, possibility. Mm. But this is a forecast. And if, if it really happens, then there is, what you are saying is actually quite true. It might even get worse. Okay. okay. Could you help us with what the volume, uh, volumes as well as realizations were this quarter and how would it compare year on year and quarter on quarter? Quarter on quarter, we have produced about 10,000 tons less. We have sold, sold 10,000 tons less. Uh, we, we had a shutdown, which is a one, one of the kilns uh, that we produce a sponge and is under major overhauling. Uh, for the last 70 days, it is actually shut down. So the volumes have, were expected to be lower. and they are. Uh, but leaving the shutdown away, I think our performance has been, uh, actually speaking, better than the previous year, you know, say on a like-to-like -like basis. That's about the volume of production and the volume of sales. Uh, I NRI mentioned to you already. Mm. Uh, Mr. Deshpande, uh, do you expect steel companies to shut down capacities this year? Uh, in the pecking order, uh, uh, clearly yours is an older plant. It is the newer plants which will shut down first. Are you expecting shutdowns? I would expect, actually speaking. 
honestly if this 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 trend continues like worsens a little bit in the quarter to mm. there will be people who will be cutting back on production so would production. you say therefore this is the worst ebit you have seen uh, yeah i think so i think so okay what's your own capacity utilization our capacity is about 90% Okay. Uh, but but uh, this is on a, on a, uh, on the basis of a kin has been shut down already so on that basis it's lower okay one kin has been sh shut down but it has it has it has it has not it has nothing to do with uh, uh, let us say market market not there or we are not choosing to mm. not produce and sell in the market it has nothing to do with that it is okay. just a situation that we had planned and that's why it is getting uh, at that low level okay and okay, uh, the demand industry's weakest players are operating at what capacity I am told some of the people, weakest players are operating at even at 50% capacity. Okay. Now this is different from the previous quarters. Because in the previous quarter there was no iron ore available to people. Mm. Now the iron ore seems to be available, but the margin seems to be get going away from them. Okay. And therefore, I think many plants are also very, very selectively operating okay. uh, whatever needs to be operated, etc. Okay. So steel prices so far in this quarter in Q2, how would it compare with Q1? On an average, do you think steel prices in Q2 are lower than Q1? Steel prices in Q2 at this beginning of Q2 are expected to be lower than the Q1, beginning of Q1. There is a falling trend. Last one week, I'm seeing some, let us say, stagnation or reversal of trend, but we have to watch further. That's too, too premature to say that that's a, the change of trend. Okay. Okay, also, how much did they rise by? You said reversal of trend. The yeah, last one week, the spongeon prices are also looking up a little okay. bit. Okay, compared to the way they were moving from the beginning of the quarter to end of the quarter. All right. Uh, so one final question. Uh, you told us that the top line is weak because your realizations have dropped. Could you give us the actual numbers? How much has it come down by your realizations? <laughs> See, last, uh, last year in this quarter, we had made uh, sales worth 193 crores. Now we are making 141 crores. Okay. okay. There's 10,000 tons less sales. So one can sort of account how much is it because of less volume. Yeah. Rest of it is because of a drop in price. Drop in price has been significant, almost 20% in this three months itself, actually speaking. And then, uh, uh, so that's the, the volume and the, the sales. And I'm, because of that, our profits have taken a dip. Okay. All right. We leave it at that, Mr. Deshpande. Thank you very much for joining us with uh, uh, a fund of details on what's transpiring in the spongein industry and in the steel sector. Very, very tough times. Let's take a break on that note. Uh, and thereafter, uh, we will focus on uh, other corporates as well. Uh, actually, we continue with the steel theme.